so in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to install apache tomcat on a cloud server in our case we'll be using digital ocean so let's start um tomcat is actually a, a server wrapper that i use in hosting java web apps so we are installing Apache Tomcat on DigitalOcean. Let's visit DigitalOcean and create our server. And I'm going to log in. We are going to create a new server. That's a new a new droplet. We are going to create a new droplet. So we'll be selecting Ubuntu. We'll select Ubuntu, the standard plan. Then we'll choose this one. You can select any data center region. So I will leave those ones as the, as the default. Then for our authentication, we'll choose a password. So this is our password. Okay. Oh. So we we'll choose our password and then that's all. That's just to create the standard a standard droplet or a basic droplet. So we we'll click on create the droplet. And then we've created our droplet. So this is our droplet. So the digital ocean has not finished creating it. So we're going to wait for some seconds. So while we wait, this is the guide we're going to be following. So this is, we're going to be following this guide step by step. It's actually a simple process. So let's check our server. Okay, it has finished creating. So let me give it a name. Okay, so this is the name. Okay. So, what is going on? Okay, so let's give it a name. So this is our server, our droplets. So let's follow this guide. The link, I'll be dropping the link in the description of this video. So let's start. So the first process is to, um, the first process is to install Java. So this is the code we're going to be using to install server. Let's go back to DigitalOcean and open our console. So you click on console to open the console for the server, for our server that we just created. So we are going to log in. So let me log in. Oh, sorry. Okay, so let, so we're logged in now, and then the first step is to install Java with this code. So you paste it, then the next step is to okay, the first step is to update our app get package, then this next step is to install Java, which is this. We'll copy this one then we paste also so this is going to install java for us you enter yes or why 
okay and after installing java we need to create a new tomcat user so you copy this code to create a new Tom tomcat user group okay java is still installing okay let's wait for java to finish installing okay so we're done so we're going to create a new tomcat user group so you paste the code okay that's it then we also put this code also as after creating the user group we need to create the tomcat user itself so this is the code for creating the user then you paste and then click enter so after that we need to install tomcat so in installing tomcat we need to navigate to the tmp folder so you copy this code okay so we're in the tmp folder now and then to download we need to download tomcat from this from the website but i don't think this link is working this link is not working so we need to go to the official website and get the link that is working okay so this is the link we're looking for now you right click and copy link address so let's put it here and then you come back to this guide you copy this okay so you copy everything and then paste into our console you paste it into the into our console So just like that, we've downloaded Tomcat. So we've downloaded Tomcat just like that. So we'll move to the next step, which is to install Tomcat in, in this directory. Okay, we need to install, we need to extract it into this directory. So let's create the folder, the directory. Let's create it. So we've created the folder and then we need to extract it we need to extract it so in this case we need to be careful to check for the tomcat version we we downloaded so the one we downloaded is um okay let's check type ls to check all the files in this folder so this is the Tomcat version that we downloaded. So we'll copy this code here. And then we'll edit the Tomcat version. You paste. And then we edit. So we downloaded version 9.0.37. So you add it to 9.0.37 then dot tar then you click enter so we've extracted tomcat and then we need to update the permission you copy this code paste permission updated Okay, we need to nav we, we are navigating to the folder first before um, updating the permission. So we need to update the permission now. Copy this code and then paste to update the permission. Okay. 
So we need to give it a read and execute access. We need to enable the read and execute access. So we'll copy these two codes and paste. Copy the other one. Paste. So we'll move to the next step. Now we need to make Tomcat the user, Tomcat user, the owner of these following folders. So this is a code. We'll copy and paste. And then the next step is to create our system MD service file. So this is the tricky part. This is the tricky part. So because of this, because this console cannot, I can't really edit with this console. So I'm going to open the console from my system. So if you are using Windows, you need to open CMD. So I'm opening, I'm going to open my own CMD now, my command prompt which is terminal or Mac, okay. So I'm going to log in to my server. I'll copy my IP, then I will SSH into my server. Paste my IP, that's SSH, SSH root at the IP address. Then type yes, and put in my password. Okay, so I'm in now. So um so we need to create the system MD service file. So you copy this code, you paste. Sorry. Okay, no, we don't need this. No. This is just to get out you, you need to skip step this step. You need to skip to skip this step. So this is what we need to create the system MD file. You paste. So to create a blank folder, a blank file for you, then you copy this and paste it inside. You paste, and then we are going to remove a line, this Java line, because we've installed Java. So we are going to remove this line entirely. So we're going to locate that line and remove it. That's Java underscore home. We're going to remove that line totally. Then you save. That's with Control X. Then you type Y and then enter. So then this is the next step to restart our server to restart the system md daemon and then we are going to start the tomcat this is the code to start tomcat and then we are going to check the status of tomcat that we just started if it's running or not So as you can see, it's active. Tomcat is now running. So we've successfully downloaded and installed Tomcat on our server. So let's check if it's working. So you come to your, you copy your IP address, you paste, and then you put port 8080. So as you can see, it's opening up the Tomcat um, web file for us, which means we've successfully installed Tomcat. As you can see, if you are seeing this, you've successfully installed Tomcat. So, thank you very much for.